You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for Golden Ragwort, Pacura aurea. If the winter weather is moderate, you can find the basal leaves of Golden Ragwort throughout the winter season. Its green leaves provide a contrast to the surrounding brown leaf litter. Golden Ragwort grows in the central and eastern portions of North America. If the winter season is bitter cold and or the ground is covered with snow for a long time, then the first hint of Golden Ragwort's leaves in the late winter or early spring provide a welcome green note. Early spring leaves of this perennial plant are basal. Each leaf grows from the ground. Leaves consist of a blade, the part we typically think of as a leaf, with a long petiole or stem. A single strong vein runs through the center of the blade. Other veins branch off from this central vein. Therefore, golden ragwort has pinnate venation. Leaf blades are about one and a half times longer than they are wide, with bluntly toothed margins. Although early spring leaves may look oblong in overall shape, by the time the leaf matures, it clearly has a blunt or rounded tip and a chordate or heart-shaped base. While the basal leaves grow larger, a stalk grows from the center of the golden ragwort plant. This stalk holds the developing flower buds. Leaves grow alternately along the central stalk. This leaf shape is dramatically different from the basal leaves. One field guide calls them pinnately lobed, while another refers to this as a panatophid shape. Observe how the leaves on the flower stalk do not have a petiole. Instead, they are sessile. Let's go back to the flower buds at the tip of the central stalk. Initially, the buds are small and compact, quite close to each other. Gradually, the stalk lengthens and each bud becomes separately distinguishable. The bud's outer covering is purple and somewhat hairy. Since golden ragwort's flowers are composite flowers, the ray flowers and disc flowers within the flower head do not have any sepals. Therefore, the covering for the entire flower head consists of reduced leaf or leaf-like structures referred to as bracts. Sometimes the bracts have a hint of purple or red while remaining more of an overall green color. However, usually they are purple, as we can see in this image. Quite a few flower buds are opening to reveal their imminent yellow flowers. The bracts spread apart. Yellow petals for the ray flowers stick up around the edge of the flower head. Here we have some flower buds, opening flower heads, and an open head with blooming ray flowers. Golden ragwort's flower heads are composites, consisting of 8 to 13 ray flowers around the perimeter and dozens of disc flowers in the center. You can just barely see a portion of the ray flower's reproductive parts peeking out. Disc flowers open from the outermost ring of the flower head toward the center. When the disc flower opens, its bifid stigma rises above its tiny yellow petals. The center of the fully blooming flower head looks pockmarked. Can you pick out the flower heads which are newly opening with fewer open disc flowers from the flower heads which are entirely in bloom? Golden ragwort typically grows flower heads in an open arrangement. Each flower head develops at the end of its own flower stalk. The flower head is about three quarters to one inch wide. A blooming golden ragwort plant stands one to two feet tall. After blooming, the ray flowers droop and die. Then the disc flowers begin to die. Fertilized flowers develop into seeds. Each elongated brown seed, or a keen, has a white tuft called a pappus. The pappus helps the achenes to float through the air to new locations. Later in the summer, 
All that remains of the flowering portion of golden ragwort are dry receptacles at the ends of brittle flower stalks. The underside of golden ragwort's leaves are typically purple-hued, as we can see with these spring leaves. Here are mature summer leaves with their glossy purple lower surface. Notice the raised pinnate veins. However, another golden ragwort plant may instead have leaves which are a glossy light green color on the underside. The leaves retain their green color through the summer and the fall seasons. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Pacara aurea, also known as golden ragwort. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of golden ragwort. For blog posts comparing golden ragwort's leaves to ground ivy and to common violet. For plant identification resources and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.